Hello friends. Today's story is about a woman who fought all odds and followed her passion in astronomy. She became well known and made several important contributions which also include the discovery of a first comet. The comet 35P Herschel Regulet is named after her. Did you guess who am I talking about? Yes. Today's story is about Caroline Herschel. Caroline was born in Germany 1750. As a child, she once had chicken pox and later she went through several serious long-term health issues caused by typhus. Because of which her physical growth was limited and she grew a little over just 4 feet. Can you imagine just 4 feet height? But she did not give up on any hardships. She tried hard, worked hard and pursued her passion in astronomy. Despite of people saying that she could not do anything more than just household work, she continued to study and never gave up. Her father was very supportive to her. Caroline remained in her parents' home until the age of 22 when her brother William Herschel asked her to live with him in England. There Caroline took many lessons in voice training for singing and some in mathematics. She was very multi-talented. Soon Caroline became a famous vocalist, but she never pursued her career in music because something else appealed her more. Caroline and William had started to take interest in astronomy now. As William took up on building some large telescopes, Caroline helped him in assembling all of them. She had amazing skills in polishing and grinding the mirrors. These mirrors are made of large glass slabs. So this job is not at all easy. Grinding these large mirrors or large glass slabs to make mirrors is a physical task of 14 to 16 hours which is not easy at all but she did it with dedication. Of course she also learned many other things related to astronomy and astronomical observations. and used to record and organize all these astronomical observations with this experience caroline found work on a position of royal court thus we can say that she became the first professional woman astronomer during her leisure hours she occupied herself with observing the sky with a telescope From 1783 to 1797 she made many discoveries Apart from galaxies she discovered eight comets including the Encke comet To be more precise it is called Encke you can google it more and read about it This comet comes near the sun more often than any other comet She discovered 14 new nebulae or we can say star nurseries where baby stars are born many years later caroline returned to germany her birthplace she was still determined and continued her astronomical study considering her contribution to astronomy she was the first woman to be honored with the golden medal of the royal astronomical society in 1828 and the first to receive gold medal from the persian academy of sciences in 1846 what made her so great it was the hard work and determination to pursue your dreams and to pursue your passion this is a very inspiring story isn't it she was good in singing she became famous once but she did not lose any hard work and determination in what she loved so from this story we can learn to follow our dreams and by following dreams with hard work you will find a way definitely so ready to make today's toy 
So today we are going to make a comet. So what is a comet? You must have read a lot about a comet. So this is not a real comet of course. But we are going to make a toy which look, looks like a comet. So what is real comet made up of? Uh, so it is made up of ice, dust, carbon dioxide, methane, uh, ammonia. So the center of the comet is icy and the gases are around it. These comets are there in our solar system uh, since our solar system is born. So this comet goes around the sun like this with a tail behind it. So what causes this tail? So when it moves around or goes around the sun, some material inside the core vaporizes which makes this tail. So fun to play, right? Ready to make? It is very simple to make and fun to play with. You can also observe that this tail always follows the core. You can also rotate it and see it, is, it always follows the core. Ready? Okay. So what we need is some newspapers, some tissue papers as they are very light to make such tails. You can also use ribbons if you have or colorful paper. So when you cut these tails from a tissue paper or you can use ribbons, what you need to do is you need to tape it like this and make your trail ready. You can also secure it with wool or thread. So now let's make the core. When you have a newspaper, just take two parts of the newspaper and fold it. Then you have what you have to do is just make a bow like structure out of the newspaper and secure it with a cello tape. A cello tape is the easiest way to secure anything because it is faster. Glue takes some time to dry and the thread can break. So I advise you to use cello tapes which is easiest to secure anything. Done. Place your tail in the middle like this and make a ball out of this newspaper like this and just tape it down with a lot of cello tape. So here becomes your comet. I have made one before to show you. Just make it firm and tight with a lot of cello tape and you can tie a woolen piece again with cello tape to hang it like this. So here's your comet ready. You can play with it and it's a completely indoor activity this time. Indoor toy. You can make it at home, play it at home and stay home, stay safe. Don't go outside, okay? And if you like our videos, like our stories, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe. You can also comment in the comment section below. We are going to come with lot of such stories for you and fun science, happy science.